so I got to attend Anthrocon this year, and let me tell you, I had an awesome time. I made some new friends, got some fire pictures and videos, which I'm gonna share with you. And best of all, I got to take a little vacation. Now, for those of you who are like, what the hell is Anthrocon? Well, first of all, probably none of you are saying that. And second of all, for those of you who are saying that, it's a furry convention that takes place in Pittsburgh every summer, typically from late June to early July. I feel very fortunate that I got to go. I've been a furry since I was 14, and I've always wanted to try going to one of these things. Anyway, that's enough waffling and yapping about blah, 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 blah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it right now. So uh, here's an epic time lapse of me driving there, by the way. So I got to the city around 11.48, and I was just looking around, taking in the fact that I was actually here. I hadn't been here since, like, 2015, so honestly, I was having a hard time grasping the fact that I was actually here. And right there is the Wyndham Grand Hotel, the hotel that I stayed at. And yes, this is the same hotel where something happened on July 4th this year that attracted some local headlines. You may have heard of it, but we'll get to it shortly. Okay. So, I'm currently in my hotel room and uh, it's been a few minutes. It's small, I will admit. It is a small room, but I'm not a size king. I have one issue with the bathroom. That dead ass just doesn't stay up. But not the end of the world. Initially, I did have a plan for when I got to the hotel room, but the whole goddamn thing was just thrown out the window. I was running off of not very much sleep here, but I didn't care. I just wanted to get to the convention center, get my registration, and get things moving. I was still taking in the fact that I was in Pittsburgh, and not only that, but there by myself. I don't know what I'm doing. This is huge, dude. I'm actually here. Oh, man. I feel like I'm not as excited as I was before. It's probably because I'm a little tired. A little. This big green building you see here is the Fairmont Hotel, and this is where me and my parents stayed several years back. The Titanic musical. I might know somebody who may like that. Walking into the heat of it now, boys. <laughs> the heat. All right, fuck me. This long ass line that you're seeing here is the line to get registration. Yeah, it's really long. It went around the building like two times, I think. But despite its impressive length, it was done in a good amount of time. That's what she said. I want to make sure I understand this right. Is this the red line to get registration? Yeah. yeah. Okay. For the next three hours. Yeah. First time. Yeah, first time convention in my life, actually. I've never been to a convention. These two people you see right here are the first two people that I ever met at the convention. I met them in the line at registration. We exchanged telegram information and we stayed in touch and we met up every time we'd go out. Yo, give me some air, give me some air. Give me some air. Yeah. First suit in the window. Where? Where where? What did the first suit in the window? The first suit in the window! First suit in the window! Alright, I'm being really annoying. I'd say I was standing in this line for well over an hour, but honestly, it was nice to have someone to talk to and it made the time go by a lot quicker. I don't know, death is kinda hotter though. After standing for a while, we got under here into this roof, roofed area and continued to wait in line. And once we got into the building, the line continued. These are just a couple pictures that I snapped while I was waiting. And oh my god, it's insanely long. But like I said earlier, the line did move relatively quick. After that wait, I got my badge and I was able to go inside the convention. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog, okay? I use the term vlog in 2024. When we got in there, it was nice and air-conditioned, it was clean, and I was really, really excited. All right, let's see what, let's just see what awaits up here. Let's escalate. <laughs> wow, that was scary. Have you seen Elf and move the yeah. green? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, no, he goes up the escalator. Look at that guy. He's chilling. I gotta figure out where I'm going. It smells kind of good up here. Oh wait, is there food up here? There was food up there, and it was really overpriced and expensive, but I was hungry and I ate it. Besides, it was good, like buffalo mac and cheese, hella good. As we were walking around, we then discovered the bridge that goes over the dealer's den. The dealer's den was not open yet. That was gonna open the next day, but we got to get a good look at everything. Tomorrow will be better. I really didn't record all that much after this because I just wanted to enjoy my first day at Anthrocon. After I left, I decided to go grab a pizza just to have it to last me throughout the rest of the trip. I was waiting like 30 minutes to get my pizza because they were hella busy but by the time i got outside it was pouring rain that was fun i waited inside for like 20 minutes or something and then when the raid died down i walked outside and then i hear fireworks police sirens going insane all for fourth of july and i was just i felt like i was dreaming i think i legitimately dissociated that night but eventually i got back to my hotel room and i was able to get some sleep and it went well but let's talk about what happened later that night so what happened was a stabbing but not with a knife with a sword. Allegedly, two conventioneers here at the Wyndham were in bed together when one said something 
the other didn't like. So according to the reports, a con goer, not some random furry hater or anything like that. This was a con goer with more con goers. He pulled out a sword and he started swinging. And I would like to add that this happened in my hotel when I was asleep around one in the morning, five floors beneath me. The attacker was arrested and he was charged and the victim was sent to a hospital where they were treated for their injuries, which were not life-threatening. I hope the victim is doing okay and I hope that the attacker gets sentenced to life in prison for what he did. Now there were tens of thousands of attendees there this year. Surely there's going to be at least one unpredictable psychopath. This was merely an isolated incident and I am not scared to come back. With all that said, let's get on to the next day. I think yesterday I was legitimately dissociating. I was so tired. Like I was in the convention center and I was having a good time meeting people, talking to people, hugging people. But bro, I was so out of it. Like I feel like I just wasn't processing the fact that I was that I am in Pittsburgh. I want to give a quick shout out to the Wyndham Grand Hotel in downtown Pittsburgh. This is a small room. This is a hell of a comfortable bed. This is a king size bed. I don't know what y'all are doing to the Wyndham Grand, but keep it up. Right now I'm gonna finish sipping this, and when I'm done with that, I'm gonna head outside and just go for a little walk, I don't know. After me literally meandering and wandering around kind of aimlessly, I headed down to the convention center and I started hanging out with people. I decided to head back to the bridge to check out the dealer's den and it has grown significantly as you can see. Look at all this stuff. All fantastic work from the creators. This is the little guy. I've seen those. It's actually. the little weed baby. Okay, green's my favorite color actually. Now at this point, I was just kind of wandering around waiting for my group of friends to show up and then eventually get into the dealer's den, which there was going to be a huge line for. And if you thought the line to get to registration was insane, Wait until you see the line for the dealer's den. This, this alone was just the line of people to get into the dealer's den, and I stood there the whole time. I held my camera up the whole way and I snapped this picture. Just look how many people were in there. And to the other side, there were also a shit ton of people as well. Fortunately, there was a good amount of entertainment within the crowd. Eventually I got in and I was able to check out what the dealer's den had to offer and boy they had a lot to offer. They were mostly offering crowds. As hella crowded as this place was, I actually had a really good time walking around and looking around at all this stuff and I bought some stickers. After wandering around in the dealer's den for a while, I came up to the bridge and I found this guy playing guitar and I gotta say he's a very skilled musician and this was by far one of my favorite parts of the whole time being there. Down by the waterfront of the convention center, there was a big rave going on, but I'm not much one to rave, so I decided to get these cool views of the bridge instead. Right after this, I decided to head back to my hotel room and get some rest. And now, for day three. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Right now, it's 8 a.m., and I want to show you guys what I bought yesterday at the dealer's den. I got only death themed items. I got uh, three stickers. I put one on my car yesterday. While I was there, I put a keychain, a death keychain, on my keys. I'm gonna go get breakfast. Hopefully, get a little bit of protein. I've just been eating on, the, surviving off this leftover pizza. Right now, I'm just gonna pack up my stuff. Not like pack up for the day, but you know, organize my stuff a little bit. Day three was the day of the big furry parade. Basically, if you don't know what that is, everybody in fursuit gets into a big parade and walks through the convention center. And I believe to outside, I'm not 100% on that. But before I went to the convention center, I decided to stop by a local diner named Cherry's Diner and grab some breakfast because I was hungry. After that, it's off to the convention center. Then I finished eating my breakfast, headed off to the convention center, met up with my friends, did a little bit of walking around, but then something interesting happened. <laughs> Thank 
It didn't have to be that hype. I really didn't. Bro, these guys actually got up there and went, hey boys, see shanty. And I cannot emphasize how glad I am that I got that on camera. And now you can enjoy it too. Also, check out this cool dealer's den item that I got. It's an LED name tag. Basically, you can make it say whatever you want. Chicken sandwich. After wandering around a little bit more and doing some other stuff, it was finally time for the fucking parade. You'll notice a theme with Anthrocon. There's a lot of lines to stand in. While I wasn't in this line, fursuiters were. But I gotta tell you, this was by far the longest line ever. Not necessarily taking long, but physically, it was such a long line. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the entire parade. You can find that on YouTube if you really want to see it. But I'm gonna show you just a couple highlights from the parade. Hi. I did not know. Oh my god. He's so tall. Yes. Reagan, that was for you. That's not, that's pretty cool. I know. Why not have it, right? I know. Because it's I free. I won't. It's free. I won't. Is, is there a price tag on it? No, I didn't think so. I'm so happy I recorded that you that lady. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> After nearly over an hour, the parade finally came to an end. It honestly felt like it was taking forever. Not that I didn't enjoy it, but it was seriously dragging. Get it? Say hello. <laughs> Before I wrapped the night up, I got to meet Telephone, who is this character right here. Allow me to give you a brief history lesson on who Telephone is. She's a Dutch angel dragon, and as a matter of fact, she's the first Dutch angel dragon to ever exist. She does not speak a lick of English, and she only knows the squeak language. Ever since her creation, the Dutch angel dragon had become more popular, and I actually saw several of them at the furry convention, and their designs are so good. Okay, moving on. You hungry? Yeah. After that, me and a whole nother group of friends got dinner together. We went to this place called August Henry's, and honestly, it was good. Price, it was a pretty good price, and it was pretty good food. And after that, we went to this block party. Okay, let me tell you something. After all that action, I decided to head up to the rooftop where it was nice and quiet. Also, just check out that scenery. The sun setting over the horizon and these really well-lit bridges really comes together to make a perfect atmosphere. While on the rooftop, I was able to get this picture taken of me while wearing someone's fursuit head, specifically Hollow's fursuit head. And I gotta tell you, when I saw this picture, I had a fucking epiphany. I knew at that moment I need a fursuit, at least a partial. While it wasn't very comfortable to wear because I had my glasses on and they were all smushed and it really wasn't meant to fit in my head, I still had a good time wearing that thing. Believe me, next year I will have a fursuit head. Today is July 7th, the last day of Anthrocon. I'm going to be leaving tonight, like later, like way later. I had a very good time actually, and I'm 100% coming back next year. Yesterday I put on a fursuit head, like someone who I'm grouped up with, and when I put that on, I honestly did feel like just some other character. I just did. I had this picture taken of me. When I saw that picture, I just knew I need to get, I, like, I gotta get a fursuit. I have to do it. I was having fun, but time did not fly, which is, which is a good thing. All right, let's pack this shit up. When I turned the camera off at that moment, I called valet, had them bring my car out, and I packed my car up and I parked in a nearby parking lot. That way I could still have a place to park and enjoy the last day of the con. On the last day of the convention, I brought my camera into the dealer's den because I really didn't bring it in at any other time. I didn't record very much of it, but here's what it looks like. Before the end of the convention, people were just hugging each other, saying goodbye for the year. And here's one more picture of me wearing Hollow's fursuit head. God, look at my titty. But now it's time to party hard while we still can. This is me and the gang going to the ballroom to go enjoy the rave. Uh -huh. 
So that was my Anthrocon 2024 experience. Overall, I loved it and I can't wait to go again. I'm going to sign this video off with me in the rave, but be warned, there's a lot of flashing lights.